Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about real functions, real valued functions, and to find the domain and range of a real function. So, when we define real function, we say let f be a function from set A to set B, where set A and B are any two non-empty sets. We also write this as f is from A to B. If it is such that A is a subset of R and B is also a subset of R, it means the domain and codomain of a function, both are the subsets of the set of real numbers, then f is a real function. For example, suppose you have been given a function f from 0 to infinity to r defined as fx is equal to x square plus 2 upon x plus 1. It is a, a real function. The domain is 0 to infinity that is subset of real sets and R itself is a set of real numbers. So, it is a, a real function. Let us talk about real valued function. Real valued function. Let f be a function from set A to set B such that the value of fx for every x belonging to the domain A is a real number. then f is a real valued function. For example, suppose we have f is from we say r to r defined as fx is equal to x square plus 2. We take any real number x here then we will find, suppose we are finding f1 that is 1 square plus 2 is 1 plus 2 that is 3 is a real number. We take f minus 1 that is minus 1 square plus 2 is equal to 3 and so on we can find out for any other real number. We will always find that fx is a real number and then we say it is a real valued function. Let us learn now, since the domain and codomain of a function, real function we can say, of a real function are the subsets of R, that is a set of real numbers. real numbers. So, it is always defined as an expression or a formula in terms of x. That is, for example, we can take f is a function from r to r defined as we can say defined as fx is equal to x square plus 3x plus 1. We can take another example in the same fx is equal to x plus 1 into 3x plus 5 etc. They are all 
defined in the form of the expression of the formula. Let us talk about the domain now. Domain of a real function generally the domain and range of a real function are not given since the domain and codomain are the subsets of R. Therefore, we are to find the domain such that we find all those values of x at which fx is real or we say exists. For example, suppose we take f is a function defined as fx is equal to x plus 1 upon x minus 2 and we are to find out its domain. We find that fx exists only when x minus 2 is not equal to 0 or it takes the real values. It means x is not equal to 2. Therefore, we say that domain of f is equal to r minus 2. To find the range of a real function, what we do? We generally take fx is equal to y. Actually, we can say here x is an independent variable and y is dependent variable. What is range? Range is actually a set of images. So, what we do from fx equal to y? We will try to find out the value of x in terms of y and then c we will find x in terms of we can write find x in terms of y and see the set of all values where x takes all real values and that is the range of it. Let us take some example here to find out the range. Suppose we have been given a real function defined as fx is equal to x minus 2 upon 5 minus x and we are asked to find out the range. What we will do to find range we will write let fx is equal to x minus 2 upon 5 minus x is equal to y and then we simplify this. This will give you x minus 2 equal to 5y minus xy. We have to find out the value of x. So, all the terms of x we take together on the left. This will be x plus xy is equal to 5y plus 2. If we take x common, this will be 1 plus y equal to 5y plus 2. And hence we find the value of x as 5y plus 2 upon 1 plus y. Now here we see, this will take all real values only if 1 plus y 
is not equal to zero. It means this is the only point where one this will not take or x will not take any real value. So if we take one plus y equal to zero, we get y is equal to minus one. So at the value of y equal to minus one, x does not take the real value, or we say x does not exist. And therefore, we say the range of f is r minus minus one. Like this, we can find out the range of a function. Let's take one more function now. Suppose it is given f is a real function defined as f x is equal to root of x minus five. And we have to find out its domain and range. We'll see the domain. When we want to find out the domain, we will see f x is root of x minus five. This takes all real values only when x minus five is greater than equal to zero. It means when x is greater than equal to five, so we can say the domain of f is equal to five to infinity, and because equal to sign is there, this will be included, and this is open. This way we can find out the domain. What about the range? When we try to find out the range, we say f x is equal to y is equal to root of x minus five. But we find here, we find for all values of x belonging to five to infinity, root of x minus five is always greater than or equal to zero, and hence we can say the range of f is equal to 0 to infinity i think from this video you could understand what is a real function what is a real real valued function and how to find out the domain and range of a real function thanks for watching my video if you have any comments or doubts leave them in the comment box and i'll get back to you